Hello, everyone. Here again, it's Liz at um, ETBS, your tax advisor, your business coach, and I'm here for you. I promise you we're going to do a series of uh, uh, different um, videos, so call them podcasts, uh, where you can listen to this. Um, and definitely, um, today we're going to discuss about something that I think is really important that has to do with sales tax and Amazon. Oh, boy. I know. And talk about Nexus, right? Um, so this is a big, big, big thing right now. And let me go ahead and uh, uh, share here my video. That way some of you who are watching me on YouTube, um, you can actually, hi there. Again, Liz Soria. Um, I also like to go ahead and share um, my screen here, okay? And um, so anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and make this a little bigger, my screen, that way you can see me. Um, there we go. All right, great. Um, and I always like to do eye contact as much as I can. It's kind of, kind of difficult sometimes with cameras as we're not able to see eye to eye with, with the other person in the other side. So, um, so anyhow, uh, again, today it's, it's, it's a continuation of a series of things that I'm doing for all those who are selling um, in Amazon, not only that, but also in eBay, or they have the e-commerce, uh, you know, website. Uh, because I think, uh, as I always have mentioned, it's important that you continued uh, by all means. Uh, you do do continue um, to, you know. Um, Build your, your customer base, okay? Um, as much as I, I really, really like so much Amazon, um, remember, they're not your customers. <laughs> so uh, while it's great for your revenue to expand yourself, um, always keep in mind that you're always uh, looking for things that are going to, uh, you know, definitely uh, help you, um, you know, do this. So, um, you know, I, I want to make sure that... Um, we covered the sales tax because it's a hot topic, and um, and I know a lot of people are telling me, "Well, this, you know, uh, where, where are we heading with all this?" But this is nothing new, uh, folks. I mean, this is this has been going on for a long, long time, and and I, I told my my current sellers, uh, it's 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 just a matter of time before you know the government is going to be stepping in and and states because the suffering they they want to start collecting the tax and the way to look at it is if you have presence remember through nexus meaning that any warehouse is selling your product you're responsible for that sales tax uh if you have uh you know uh employees working in certain states uh and maybe some of you might be thinking well this if i don't have employees who cares i can have contractors well sorry to give you bad news folks that's also your responsibility. If you have independent contractors, they're your responsibility. That means that you have presence on that state. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of ways of people that sometimes, because we don't have the right information, and I know it could be very confusing. Um, I tell you because I watch, uh, you know, uh, whenever I have a couple minutes here and there, I, I try and watch others, you know, on YouTube and and, 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 and different channels. And, and, and you know, I hate to bring this up, but I have must. Uh, uh, you know, I'm a little bit from uh, in between, you know, I call it the new and the old generation. And I can tell you that, um, you know, what I have noticed myself is that, uh, you know, unfortunately there's a lot of people out there that talk, talk, talk too much uh, and they lack an experience, folks. And if somebody's lacking experience, it's very difficult that someone can teach you, uh, you know, and follow them as a leader when they're lacking their own experience. And that only comes with time and we know that. Um, I always been a firm believer of having, you know, uh, fundamentals of having your career, uh, establishing yourself, whatever feel is that you want to become an expert in. Um, but definitely, you know, experience, it's a big plus. Uh, so uh, again, please be careful who you listen to and make sure that they do have the sufficient, you know, a background and experience. But let's go back to sales tax. That's really, really what I want to discuss about because I'm really concerned about what's happening out there. And, and, and like I said, I've been sharing this for a long time. And one of the things is, for example, one of the top news as of this year is that um, they were going to impose Amazon to start collecting sales tax because they notice that sellers are, you know, ignoring the rules. Um, and the way they look at it is, well, you know, you don't want to establish, uh, you know, uh, a sales tax account for every single state. Wow. 
I, I, I understand. It's, it's, it's a lot. It really is. It's overwhelming. Uh, but remember that there's so many um, uh, third parties and softwares out there that can handle this. Um, that, you know what, it's just, just open it up, establish it with them because it's reasonable. Goodness, and I'm, I'm sure some of you who are really, you're already selling Amazon or eBay or even your own platform um, that you can utilize these software companies. And um, you know what? It's affordable. Um, they do a good service. And you don't need to worry about it. I think that's fantastic. I mean, you can outsource so much now in these days compared to 10 years ago. Okay, so there's so many things have changed in our favor. So by all means, there's no excuse. We really can't afford it if we want to do it. So this is what I tell folks. Look at your list. What states are you selling the most? Go and apply. Open up your account. Okay, establish, like I said, these kind of services like TaxJar, right? T-A-X-J-A-R. I'm sure you heard about them. If you haven't, now you have. Uh, uh, I think they do a great service. I like also um, Avalara, um, the uh, much larger company. Um, I think they have a little more expertise. Uh, it doesn't mean they're, 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 they're a little more expensive, um, but definitely they can do uh, some extra service to help you in the process of collecting your sales tax. You know, I look at it this way. If you can avoid anything that has to do with the government, the state, by all means, please do. Um, because at the long term, you can end up paying so much in penalty and interest that it's not a joke. I mean, it's just not worth it. So please, uh, this is the right thing. Like I said, I understand if you do want to sell, so maybe you're like, this, this is not worth it to me. I mean, how the hell am I going to be open in every single state? And I really understand that. I really do. I um, I, can, I can assure you, I can, I can get in your shoes. Um, because like I said, one of my niches is really, or niche as we call it, uh, you know, it's definitely, you know, e-commerce. Um, and that's how I'm able to help many of my clients now only regarding the OSIS issue because a lot of people, they, you know, they come to us, they're not sure, they want to start maybe, uh, not sure what entity they want to use, what structure again, we're not attorneys, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we cannot give you legal advice, but definitely I can refer you to other good attorneys. Um, and, you know, one thing we can help you has to do with the tax structure and tell you exactly what's going to be more beneficial for you. Not for your neighbor, not for your friend, for you because we all have different plans. We all have different necessities and we need to realize where you at and where you want to head, okay? And you're always going to hear me say this because it is important, folks. I know a lot of people cutting corners, doing your self approach. Hey, that's wonderful, but please be careful. Um, invest a little money and time and it's going to pay off for, for a long, long time. Um, so again, Washington State, oh boy, they got really, really, really upset. And finally, they have imposed their state laws. Uh, Amazon has to collect now on behalf of the sellers. Mm -hmm. So um, they're definitely one of them uh, that raised their happiness since the beginning of this year, 2018. Uh, I'm looking at my list here. We have also, for example, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, they, they're already doing it as of this year. Um, so if you're selling and that's one of your hot states, then uh, and not much to worry about. I mean, they're going to be collecting already in your behalf. Um, again, we have also another state here, Rhode Island. So as you can see, the states up north, they, they're becoming a little bit tougher. Uh, they, 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 they want their sales tax. They want to start collecting. They've been hurting for, for a long time. Um, and then one of the other states who are coming up very soon, um, probably is not going to take effect probably until, I would say, maybe – um, uh, next mid next year, 2019, uh, will probably be Minnesota. Okay, uh, but right behind that, every other state is it's it's just in a queue. I mean, uh, if it's not in the next few months, it's going to happen next year or the following. I mean, but this is happening. Uh, this is not just already. Well, it may happen like a lot of people kept their fingers crossed for a long time, and they probably were thinking, hey, you know what? Um, we don't care. I mean, uh, you know, we're going to wait. Well, the, t the, the waiting period's over. Um, so meaning that um, we are here and this is the moment. And um, again, set up your accounts. You're selling specific states. Set it up. 
uh, make sure that uh, you have everything established, that you can actually uh, have things in order. And like I said, um, it, even if, if Amazon as they're either they're going down the list and they're being imposed, like I said, by these states to collect in their behalf. Uh, if you can do it and you can volunteer and you know you're already doing sufficient sales, by all means start collecting because you know what the worst thing is? It's like what has happened with some of my clients is they, well, now I got hit with a couple thousand dollars in, in collection. Uh, yes, I understand. And guess what? It's coming out of your pocket. Because remember, you were not collecting for that percentage. So now you have to pay out of your own, not gross, out of your net sales. And ouch, that, that hurts, okay? So again, if you know you're really selling a certain portion, uh, you know, please do yourself a favor. Like I say, use one of these software companies, start collecting, start paying. Um, it's reasonable. Like I said, Nexus is becoming a really, really uh, topic that I, I've been seeing it for quite a few years. Yeah, I know some people thought, ah, oh, this is just exaggerating. This is not going to happen. Here it is. Here it is, folks. Uh, it's happening. This is a reality. Uh, but again, we don't need to, you know, uh, worry about it. We don't, shouldn't be getting upset about it. Let's just do the right thing. That means that, you know, like I said, let's get things, you know, set up and uh, uh, start paying our shares. I mean, and, and, and let's all be happy and continue our business and, and hopefully we're going to prosper and, uh, and this is going to continue growing. I mean, this is, this is the future, the e-commerce. And if you haven't watched my other video uh, that I recently recorded in regards to what have happened in Amazon in, in the stock market, Valley when I dropped almost a $50 billion, uh, uh, loss for the shareholders. I think that would be an interesting thing to also to watch. And again, I want to thank you for, as always, your time. Uh, you know, I really appreciate it. Um, any comments, you know, subscriptions. I mean, uh, uh, we're here to help you, me and my team. Um, again, whatever we can do to help you to start on the right foot, that's what we want you to do. We want you to be successful. Um, and, and when we start the right way, I think it helps a lot, you know, to, um, you know, just follow the guidelines, you know, um, don't let them knock on your door. <laughs> you know, like I always say, uh, you know, if you start collecting now, less than you have to worry about. So once again, Thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate you taking the time to, um, uh, you know, to, to, to listen to my podcast. If that's where you you listen through my soundcloud.com, uh, you can look it up under my name, Liz Surya, L-I-Z-S-O-R-I-A, or over here at our um, YouTube channel. Also, you can look it up, up as a you know tax tax advisor. And again, we're here to help you. Whether you need some training in your QuickBooks, you want to do it yourself, or you want to train one of your staff um, from avoiding making mistakes, anything that's related to e-commerce, that's what we can help you with. And uh, thank you so much again for your time, uh, for everything um, to listen to us. And like I said, uh, you know. Uh, subscribe, like, and share, because it does help a lot. And, um, you know, without you, you without the audience, I mean, we, we wouldn't be here. Um, that's the truth. And that's how we all growing and helping each other, right? So once again, thank you so much, Liz Soria. Until next time, folks, thank you, thank you, and take care of yourself. And again, like I said, you have any feedbacks, any comments, feel free to uh, reach out to me, okay? Thank you so much, and God bless. Bye-bye.